Today is September 15th. Today's quote is entitled, Nothing Without Mercy. Knowledge is only potential. It doesn't mean we understand the knowledge, for without the mercy of Guru, we won't understand much. So the idea is, yes, we need knowledge. We should have knowledge, definitely. But don't assume that you can understand transcendental knowledge without Guru's mercy. And how do you get Guru's mercy? Get Guru's mercy by following Guru's instruction. So if we think we can just theoretical, make every, theoreticalize Krishna consciousness, if you, think, if you think I can be Krishna conscious just by understanding it, first mistake is without mercy, you can't understand it. Mercy is required. That's, a, that's the ingredient. Surrender. First you surrender, then we talk. First be humble, then we talk. Then when you get mercy, you can understand so many things. You can understand things that you didn't even read and then read about them later and you think, oh, I understood this point. Isn't that amazing? Why? Because when you get mercy, Krishna reveals to you transcendental knowledge that you couldn't just understand by reading. You know, look at it this way. So many of us are reading Shastra. So many of us are hearing lectures. But we're getting different realizations and we're absorbing the knowledge in different ways. Isn't it? You have that experience? It's some people, they get so much more out of it. Why? Because they're more Krishna conscious. There's more mercy in their life. And because, because of that, they can go more deeply into into the same thing that we're all reading. So it's not a material thing. It is not because of their material intelligence. It's a spiritual thing. So, so understand the importance of, of mercy of Guru. When you get mercy of Guru, then, then it's amazing how you can relish Krishna consciousness. It's amazing how much you can understand about Krishna consciousness that you couldn't otherwise understand. Jai Prabhupada. Haribo. Yeah.